Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Hello, everyone. Welcome into the Missoula Prep Sports Network's coverage of Loyola Breakers softball. Chris Stratton at the LSH Breakers softball field here in Missoula, Montana, as they take on the Thompson Falls Blue Hawks in a softball game. And we will have coverage of that. Sorry about the uh, abrupt start. We've had some production uh, things we have to take care of due to some protests. So uh, we're going to be changing those. And tomorrow we'll give you the full production setup with things here. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into our starting lineups and starting off with the Thompson Falls Blue Hawks. Number 17, Kelsey Frank. She's the pitcher. She'll start things off for the Blue Hawks. Number 7, Riley Wilson. The third baseman will bat second. Batting third is number 18, Faith Freels. She's going to hold down second base. Bella Cooper will bat fourth, holding down third base. Batting fifth will be number 21, Michaela Goodman. She is the right or left fielder. Number 16, Brooke Bolin will be the shortstop, batting sixth. Number 34, Dana, Dana Jo Van Hus will catch, that's number 34. Batting eighth is number 31, Abby Lane, the center fielder. Running out the order is number 22, Izzy Helmer, and she's the DP. Number 10, Jenna Totzauer is the right fielder. And the T-Falls, Thompson Falls Blue Hawks, coached by Coach Koskela. Now for the Loyola Breakers, leading things off, number six, Molly McHugh, she'll hold down third base. Violet Whitegrass, number 20, will bat second. She's going to hang in center field today. Normally she's in right, so make an adjustment there. Batting third is number three, McKenna Bassett. She's going to hold down first. The pitcher will bat fourth. That's number five, Kayla Hickather. Number 15, Carly Tipp will bat fifth. She's going to be the wall behind the plate at the catcher position. And number 10, Emily Hermes will bat sixth. She's going to be the shortstop. Batting seventh, number 12, Morgan Hall, the DP. Batting Eighth is Melody Vandepere. She's going to hang out in right field, number 21. Number one, Heli Batarudine is the second baseman. She'll bat ninth. And Casey Donahue will be the flex slash left fielder. fielder. The Breakers coached by Coach Bassett as we get set to go here with the Breakers and the... Blue Hawks. Kayla Hickather behind the plate, warming up. As we get set to go, we'll have more Loyola softball action tomorrow night. Tomorrow afternoon, as Troy will be in town, we'll have the first of the two games that the two teams will play. Uh, one game tomorrow night, and then on Saturday there'll be a game but the Missoula Prep Sports Network will be over covering the Missoula Mavericks as they host the Billings Royals for a pair of doubleheaders. First pitch over at Lindbergh Craig Field is at 2 o'clock. The Breakers will have a 2 o'clock first pitch on Saturday here against Troy. And then Sunday will be a 2 o'clock first pitch for that matchup. So we're ready to go. Our field officials behind the plate, Emmett Tucker and Chris Nielsen is in the field. Hickether ready on the rubber and we're ready to start things off here with Kelsey Frank, the pitcher for the Thompson Falls Blue Hawks. And it was pretty warm out as we hit first pitch at 3.59. And as the breeze comes up, and this one's going to be smacked out, and Hermes will put that Hermes will put that in her glove for out number one. And as you can hear the breeze coming up, it was 
sunny and beautiful when we got here, but it has clouded up and become slightly chilly. Now at the plate is Riley Wilson, the third baseman. And Hickether's first pitch will be bounced out to Bassett, and she'll touch the first base bag, and that will be out number two. So two up, two down to start things off as we come to Faith Freels. Number 18, Faith Freels. So Freels will step in. And she'll let the pitch go by for strike one. Freels with a wrap on her right elbow. As a low pitch will get us ball one. And she's going with out the jacket today. The Breakers wearing their navy blue jersey bottoms with the red and white stripe. High pitch to ball two. With the scarlet and white stripes down the sides of the pants. The white knee socks today. Scarlet jersey with a navy blue. We're swung on for strike two to even us out at two. So two, two, nobody on and two outs here in the top of the first inning. And a swing to finish the side. So three up, three down for Thompson Falls. We go to the bottom of the first right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer. Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as we start the bottom of the first inning. Thompson Falls held off. So now it's the breakers portion. With Kelsey Frank in the Five Valley Auto pitcher circle. And the first pitch to Molly McHugh is a ball. So Molly McHugh, Violet Whitegrass, and McKenna Bissett scheduled up on the inning. Here's the pitch, and that one's going to be ball two. So McHugh to settle in. This one's going to be hit high. Out of play for strike one on the foul shot. Here's the pitch over the plate for strike one, or strike two. So 2-2 two, two on the count. Here's the pitch. And we get the full count at 3-2 now for McHugh. Whitegrass moving up in the order. She's batting in the number two spot. And she has been moved to center field, which is good to see a little rotation. Here's the pitch by Frank, and it's low. McHugh will be walked to start the inning off. Brings us to the center fielder, Whitegrass. As we mentioned, moving up. In the so Bissett giving the foul ball back to our plate umpire. Emmett Tucker, and Frank is ready with the pitch. 
She's showing bunt, and it's going to be laid down foul. The third base line as it rolls into the dugout for the breakers on the third base line. So as I was mentioning with the breakers uniforms, we've got the navy blue pants with the scarlet white stripe down the sides, a white knee sock, scarlet top with a navy blue shoulders and a white and red stripe down them. There it says breakers on the front as this bunt is laid down nicely. Frank will pick it up. The throw to first is not there. That'll allow McHugh go to third and the breakers will have a threat off of the air. So we come to McKenna Bissett, the first baseman. Bissett to settle in, and now the pitch. It'll hit the ground. Whitegrass will go ahead and take second. We've got ball one. Frank will set her foot on the rubber. And now the pitch. And Bissett will have this one hard into right field. It'll be in the glove. No, it drops out. McHugh will come home from third. Whitegrass moves to third from second. And the Breakers will be on the board. one nothing on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Brings us to Kayla Hickether, the pitcher for today's game. Here's the pitch. And it's over the plate. Bissett's going to go ahead and take second as we have strike one to Hickether. Carly Tip in the on deck circle for the Breakers. And this one's cranked down the third baseline foul, and it's out of play for strike two. Here's the pitch by Frank. And Hickether is going to have this one right into the pitcher's glove for out number one. So that brings up Carly Tip with runners at second and third for the breakers here in the bottom of the first. one nothing on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's Frank with the pitch. High for a ball. Tip to settle in. And Tip will have this one into left field in the gap. That'll bring Whitegrass home. Bassett rounds the corner around third, and Tip's single will score two runs for the Breakers to make it 3 0 here in the bottom of the first. So they're gonna go ahead and bring in Deshaw to run for Michaela Deshaw to run for tip. Michaela Deshaw to pinch run for catcher tip. At the point, Emily Hermit, shortstop. They just got an update from Paul Yarbrough up the rattlesnake as the Hellgate Knights have a softball game going on and they're down one, twenty, one to 27 in the third inning. That one should be called at the end of the third there. As it is a 15 run rule, I believe in the, actually I think you gotta get to the fourth. And Emily Hermes at the plate will have a ball on her first pitch. Here's Frank now, pitch on the way. Hi, and we get ball two. I think Frank pitched for Thompson Falls last year when we were up there for the game. And that'll go.
go ahead and send Day shot a second, and Hermes will have ball three. And Frank will have a low pitch to walk Hermes. So with one out, the Breakers will have runners at first and second. And that'll bring up Morgan Hall, the number seven batter for the Breakers. Bottom of one, Breakers lead 3-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. With runners at first and second, and this high pitch is gonna come off the glove and into the backstop. That will advance runners to second and third. Loyal Athletic Director Mac Roach standing out in left field behind the fence. See if one of these girls can crank one off at him. As this one's fouled up up over our heads for strike one. So even count at one for Hall. Melody Vandepere is in the on-deck circle for the Breakers. It's actually a heart. I love how, what they do here. It's Loyola Breaker, Heartbreakers. Loyola Sacred Heartbreakers. As this low pitch is off the ground in front of the plate and we get ball two. So instead of having a batter circle for the breakers, they actually do a heart that's broken in half. That's pretty cool. High pitch gets us 3-1 on the count now to Morgan Hall. Frank to settle in. And she'll walk Hall to load the bases with one out. And that will take us to Melody Vandepere, the right fielder. Over at Sentinel, we've got senior night going on for their softball game. As we come to the end, and this one's cranked sideways. Second baseman can't get to it. She's gonna make the throw to second. No, she'll come home, and it's a high throw. And Hermes thought about coming home. It keeps the bases loaded as Deshaw comes in, and the breakers make it 4-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And we come to the bottom of the order for Loyola, Heli Batarudin. Baderudin playing at second now. Hermes stands at third. Hall at second. And now Vandepere at first as the first pitch comes in as ball one. Breakers, as I mentioned, will have Troy tomorrow night as we get one over the plate for strike one. Even count at one. They'll have Troy tomorrow night at five and then on Saturday at two. And then it's a road game the sixth to Hamilton and a road game to Mission on the ninth. As the wild pitch gets away, Batarudin will step out of the way and we go 2-1 on the count. And that will finish out the coverage of Loyola Sports the 9th of May. As the 11th, they will go to the Butte Central Tournament and we'll have coverage of Mavericks and Billings that weekend. And they're gonna go ahead and, ahead and give Batarudin the base. That will bring Hermes home with loaded bases. And the Breakers now lead 5-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard here in the bottom of the first inning with one out. And then the 17th through the 18th, the Breakers will be at the Divisional Tournament in Anaconda and the State Tournament in Belgrade for the 23rd through the 25th, depending on how they do at Divisionals. Here's the pitch. And McHugh will crank this one into left field. That'll bring home Hall as well as Vandeper. And the shot into left field will score two runs for the breakers to make it 
Here's the pitch by Frank to Whitegrass, and we're on our way through the order for the second time. Whitegrass scoring a run already today. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and we'll have an even count at one. This one's cranked over the second base. The shortstop cannot get there. That'll move McHugh and Batarudin around to second and third. Batarudin at third. And we come to McKenna Bassett. Loaded bases with one out here in the bottom of the first. The Breakers 7-0 on the Fast Trip Conical scoreboard over Thompson Falls. As McKenna Bassett steps in for her second time on the game and the second time on the inning. And she'll let the ball come in low for ball one. And we'll have track, and as this ball gets away, Batterudine's going to go ahead and come home. The runners at the other bases will move up, and the breakers now make it 8-0 off the wild pitch. And we go 2-0 on the count. Here's the pitch by Frank. And this one's cranked right at Frank. It's going to roll deep into center field. That'll bring McHugh home from third. As there'll be runners on the corners for the breakers with one out. And it's now 9-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. So Kayla Hickether at the plate. Here's the pitch. High for a ball, and Bassett will go ahead and make her way to second. So runners And it looks like that 27 to 1 is a final up at Hellgate. So two balls. Four Hickather. And she'll move out of the way on that one for ball two, ball three. One out, runners at second and third for the breakers. Bassett at second, Whitegrass at third, and Carly Tip in the batter circle. And a high pitch will walk Hickather to load him back up. So Carly Tip, the catcher, comes to the plate. And they're going to bring Roshana Harris in to run for Hickather since she is pitching. And Coach Bissett has done a good job of spelling his pitchers and his catchers this year with those courtesy runners. And it is a courtesy runner versus a pinch runner. There is a difference. And I have not looked up what the difference is, but I've been told emphatically that there is a difference between the courtesy runner versus the pinch. So I'll have to get in touch with my good friend Paul Yarbrough, the voice of the Missoula Mavericks, as he is my expert when it comes to rules and regulations on softball and baseball. Tip's going to crank this one backwards. It's foul, and the catcher will not be able to keep it in the glove. Had a good beat on it. Just didn't get the ball wrapped up, and the foul will get us to strike one. So loaded bases with one out for the breakers. And this one will come off of the plate for ball one. Kelsey Frank is the pitcher for Thompson Falls. And Tip will have this one down the third baseline foul for strike two. Nine zero on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's Frank. Right. 
And it's lobbed in there for Tip. She'll foul it off. And we'll have Tip stay alive at 1-2. Frank with a slow lob that if Tip would have slowed her swing down, she might have been able to put that one in the lap of Mr. Roach, the athletic director in left field. Here's the pitch. This one comes in faster. It gets by the second baseman, rolls into center field. Whitegrass is home. They're going to bring Bassett. No, she'll slam on the brakes at third, and the braces will stay cranked. As we go 10-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And we come to Emily Hermes. And they're going to bring in courtesy runner. McKenna Deshaw for tip. So Desha at first, Harris at second, and Bassett at third. Hermes settles in for her second at bat on the inning in the game. And she'll let it go for ball one. One out, loaded bases for the breakers here. And Hermes will put this one to the opposite side of second base. It'll roll into center field. Harris is going to go ahead and come home, and two runs will score off Hermes's single into center field. And we're now 12-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard with Morgan Hall coming to the plate. Morgan Hall is the DP. Here's the pitch. High for ball one. Now, I know folks is getting nice out, a little warmer. People are outside active with their workouts, but you should really check out our friends over at Fuel Fitness as we get the pitch. And this one's over the plate for strike one. Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana, for Montana, with six locations throughout the state. You can get your fuel on whenever you're on the go, including one in Coeur d'Alene. Here's the pitch. Swung on for strike two. So one, two on the count with one out and runners at first and second for the breakers, bottom of the first. 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Check them out online at www.clubfitness.com for a location near you as this one's lobbed in high for ball three and we have a full count. Fuel Fitness is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana high school sports and we get the low bases loaded back up on the walk on Hall. So Melody Vandepere, the eight spot batter for the second time here in the bottom of the first. Here's the pitch by Kelsey Frank. Swung on for strike one. Ali Batarudin, bottom of the order, stands in the on-deck circle. As we get one over the plate for strike two. Loaded bases, Morgan Hall at first, Hermes at second, and Desha at third. This one's in the dirt for ball one. So one, two on the count. Frank, foot on the rubber, pitch on the way. And swung on in our second out of the inning will be a strikeout on Hall. So two down with loaded bases as we come to the bottom of the order in Heli Batarudin. Pitch on the way. And Batarudin will crank it. It goes right into the glove of the third baseman. She can't hold on to it, but she gets the tag. And that's the side. So the breakers will score 12, they'll leave three, two behind and we go to the bottom of the, or top of the second. Right after this, you're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network.
Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN as we move to the top of the second inning. Loyola Breakers lead Thompson Falls 12-0, and it's Kayla Hickether. First pitch is over the plate. Strike one to Bella Cooper. It's the four, five, six batters on the inning. Bella Cooper, the first baseman. Melena Goodman and Brooke Bolin. This one's cranked foul up over our heads. They get strike two. So Kayla Hickether on the Five Valley or in the Five Valley Auto pitcher circle as we get a ball. And she in the first inning, three batters, eight pitches. As this one swung on and struck out for out. Number one. Brings us to Molina Goodman, the left fielder. Hickether with the pitch and we'll have ball one. Oh, she did swing, okay. It is a strike. The official scorer here next to me, so keeps me in line. Pitch on the way, check swing, and they're gonna say she went for strike two. 12-0 is your score on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. And this one's gonna come off the hip of Goodman. She's gonna walk it off down the first base line. That came off the hip of Goodman and into the mask of Tip. And she gets up with a chuckle. And <laughs> she says, it surprised me Coach Bissett comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Coach from the dugout says, where's the ball, Carly? And she'll pick it up off the ground. She says she's all right. One tough cookie is Carly Tip. And I had to laugh at Glenn Welsh. He umpired the Florence game the other night, and I heard him comment that he was trying to talk her into umpiring as she gets done with, as if she's a senior this year. As we come to Brooke Bolin with one out and one on, and we'll have a low pitch for a ball, but Glenn Welsh, one of the longtime officials here in Missoula for football, basketball, baseball, softball. <clears throat> As we get a swing for strike one. And we're even at one. This one's gonna be fouled over the first baseline dugout. But, uh, you know, Missoula is in great need, and the whole state of Montana is in great need of high school officials, grade school officials for all levels of play. And we get strike three for out number two, so Emmett Tucker will give us the phone book tear. And we move to Dana Joe Van Hus, the catcher. And she's going with just the sleeve, with sleeveless today. She'll foul this one into the first baseline dugout for strike one. But, uh, you know, the, the officials always recruiting, trying to get somebody to come out and help them out. When you've got Glenn Welsh, who retired several years ago, coming back out to officiate, you know there's a need, and we get one over the plate for strike one. And I heard him mention, you know, if there's anybody that would be a great umpire, would be 
Carly Tip as she is used to being behind the plate, having the ball whipped at her as this one's fouled off. Keeps Von Huss alive at 0-2. And if any of you listening in out there and you might have an interest, you know somebody that would be good at it, you know, here's a strike and that swing for the out on the inning. So no runs, one left behind, and we go to the bottom of the second. Breakers lead 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. The Missoula Prep Sports Network is Missoula's home for high school sports, and we need your help. MPSN is looking for local businesses to help us cover our local high school athletes by advertising their business on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you know of a business that would be interested in helping the Missoula Prep Sports Network in our coverage of high school sports in the Missoula area, drop us a line by using the Contact Us link at mpsn406.com. MPSN, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the bottom of the second inning where the Loyola Breakers are up on the Thompson Falls Blue Hawks. 12-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. And leading off for the Breakers here in the second is Molly McHugh. Breakers able to work through their batting order twice with Batterudine the bottom of the order to be the last at bat. It is Kelsey Frank in the Five Valley Auto Pitcher Circle and McHugh's gonna have this one foul right up over or right at us. It'll land on the dugout right next to us as you hear the clang and we'll have strike one. Good backspin on that one. McHugh looks down the third base line as Coach Bissett is the third base coach. And Frank, foot on the rubber. Pitch on the way. And McHugh will get this one past the third baseman. will hop on the fringe into left field. And Molly McHugh will be on to start the inning out for the Breakers. <clears throat> Brings us to Violet Whitegrass, the center fielder. And this is the first year that Whitegrass has played with the Breaker program. She is a junior. And uh, she had her first home run again, first home run of her career with the Breakers last week, or Monday, as McHugh will take second. And uh, she cranked one over the fence against Florence, her first home run. As we get a high pitch for ball one, and I'll tell you what, folks, the way that dugout came unhinged when she put that ball over the fence, it was very exciting here at LSH Breakers Field. And a high pitch for ball two. So 2-1 two to Whitegrass. Whitegrass, one for two in the first inning with two runs. No outs and a runner at third as McHugh took the base off the wild pitch. And we get a strike pitch to even us out at two. <clears throat> so 2-2 two, two on the count with no outs and a high pitch will get us to a full count at 3-2. We've got a, we work with some really great groups here with MPSN and one is celebrating this year a huge milestone. Kip Tip Coburn and Associates have been practicing injury employment and criminal defense and in other areas of law for the past 60 years. That's right, they're celebrating 60 years this year as the foul tip will keep white grass alive at 3-2. If you need some legal assistance, some advice, well, get a hold of 
Tip Coburn and Associates. Give them a call at 406-549-5186 as Whitegrass is struck out for out number one. Or but on their new website, www.tcsattorneys.com, Tip Coburn and Associates. Lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959. And McHugh's going to come home. to score for Loyola. So that clears the bases out for Bassett as she faces 1-0 on the count. One out, nobody on. Here's the Frank pitch. High, and we get a ball. Set now is Frank on the rubber. And this one will hop on the plate to get us ball three. Bassett just got into play here with the Breakers last weekend at the Frenchtown Tournament. And she'll crank this one into the hole in center field, but right over second base, and the Breakers will load one up with Bassett. And now we come to Kayla Hickether with one out and one on. So Hickether, the pitcher, will settle in for her, sec her third at bat. And she was up twice. Stepped to take it, but let it go by, and it's strike one. Pitch on the way. And this one's going to get loose. That'll allow Bassett to get to second. And we'll have ball one, even on the count, to the pitcher, Hickether, with a runner at second. And Carly Tip in the on-deck circle for the breakers. And this one's in front of the plate for ball two. Frank settles on the rubber, and now the pitch. Hickether cranks this one hard down the third base line, and she'll have strike two. So 2-2 two -two on the count to Hickether. Hickether in her first two attempts. She was walked once and had a little fly out to the pitcher, a little short popper that came to the pitcher. And it looks like Emma Tucker, our plate umpire, will be restocked. 13-0 on your Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard here in the second. And this one's going to be a lobber that looked like it hung on the grip. And we go full count at 3-2. That one just kind of sticking in the grips of Frank as she let go. And that one lobbed way up in the air. This one's going to be low and it'll bowl across. Bissett will make her way to third and Hickether will be walked to have runners on the corners. As Carly Tip comes to the plate, and they're gonna go ahead and bring in Harris to run for Tip once again. So Carly Tip comes to the plate. Bassett stands at third, and now Harris at first on the corners with one out for the breakers. Here's Tip, and she'll crank this one right into left field all the way to the fence. Bassett will come home, and Harris will crank on the breaks at third. Tip will have a double and an RBI. Uh, one RBI and, that brings up and with one out, that brings us to Emily Hermes. And they will bring in Deshaw to run for tips. So Deshaw stands at second, Harris at third. One out, and Hermes settles in. 14-0 is your score on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. And Hermes will bounce this one out right at the pitcher. Frank can't get a hand on it. Rolls into center field. Harris will score. Deshaw slams on the brakes at third. And that puts runners on the corners. 
for the Mavericks, and it's now 15 to zero. In the bottom of the second with one out as Morgan Hall comes to the plate. And this one's gonna come off the bat of Hall and come off the top of the helmet for Van Huss. For strike one, and we've got an excited Breaker fan hollering for his girls. The track team, some of the track team is out here. And some of the Breakers or Loyola student body is this one's going to be bounced, and they're going to go ahead and bring Desha home, and she'll step on the plate before the ball is there. Hermes gets around to third, and the Breakers now lead 16 to 0 with a threat at third. And we're 1-1 one, one on the count to Hall. Here's the pitch. And we get over the plate for strike two. And with everything getting nicer, it's time to make those road trips. Maybe you're going to be following your favorite prep sports team out of town. We'll stop by our friends at Fast Trip Conoco's. We got a pitch over the plate and Hall is struck out. That'll be two down here in the bottom of the second with runners at third in Hermes. 16 to zero is your score on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Speaking of Fast Trip, well, if you're making your trip out of town, stop by and see them as this one by Vandepair is gonna be fouled off for strike one. Fuel up your car, grab some ice, some cold drinks, and you should check out their new hot case. They've got a pretty sweet setup now with their hot case, with their warm foods. Maybe you want to make your car look good after a road trip as the pitch comes over the plate for strike two. Well, they've got Magic Touch Car Wash right there in the parking lot. Fast Trip Conoco is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Press Sports Network, Fast Trip Conoco your one-stop shop convenience store and this one's gonna get away Hermes comes home and that clears the bases as we go one two on the count and it's now 17 0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard with a one two count two outs and a high pitch will get us even at two on the count Frank with the pitch. This one's high and it's gonna be foul. Can the first baseman get there? No, it'll bounce off the top of the fence down the first baseline and we'll stay at 2-2. So the Breakers will have Troy tomorrow night. First pitch as I dig that up for Troy. We'll be at five tomorrow night and then two o'clock on Saturday and we get one over the plate and that's the side so the breakers earn five don't leave anybody behind and we go to the top of the third you're listening to loyola sports on the missoula prep sports network stitches of missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. 
Welcome back to MPSN as we move to the top of the third inning. The Missoula Mavericks lead the Thompson Falls Blue Hawks 17 to zero. Chris Stratton at the LSH Breakers softball field, part of the Lloyd Twight Sports Complex. And bottom of the order for Thompson Falls here in the third is it's 8-9-1. Abby Lane at the plate right now. So Abby Lane will settle in with Kayla Hickether in the Five Valley Auto pitcher's circle. And this one's ping back foul, so she'll move to 0 and 2 as she swung on a pitch while I was talking. Izzy Helmer is in the on deck circle for Thompson Falls. 0 2 on the count. Here's the pitch and swung on, and Hickether will knock down the first batter on the inning out number one. So now we get Izzy Helmer, the DP. Take a third set, foot on the rubber. And this one's hit short foul for strike one. Take a third. Two and a third innings, and she's got five strikeouts, no hits, no runs, no earned runs, and no walks. And a bunt laid down. Hickether will come up and get it down the third baseline. The throw to first is on the hop, but not there. And the runner will reach off the air. First one scored by the Breakers. And that'll swing us to the top of the order to Kelsey Frank, the pitcher. So one out, one on. Left-handed pitcher is Frank, and she's going to readjust. Swung on for strike one. Frank settles in, and Hickether with the pitch, and this one's going to be short hop foul back for strike two. And Thompson Falls has brought a good group. Looks like a mixture of student body and parents. And we get ball one, two, Frank. Riley Wilson in the on deck circle for Thompson Falls. And swung on, and Frank will be struck out for out number two. So with two outs and a runner at first, we come to the third baseman, Riley Wilson. Wilson, a right-handed batter. She'll settle in and shows bunt. She's going to lay the bunt down nicely. It'll roll towards first. And batter Rudine is there with a foot on the bag, and that's the side. So... One on, one left behind, but no runs. And we go to the bottom of the third right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times with a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable. Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back everyone. Chris Stratton from Missoula Prep Sports Network and with the 15 run rule in the third, that is game. So the Loyola Breakers get the win 17-0 over the Thompson Halls Blue Hawks. We'll have coverage of Loyola Breakers softball tomorrow as they take on Troy. 5 o'clock is first pitch. We'll talk to you then. Have a good night, folks. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Wee!